Bunnies in the city moving slow. 30, 30, 35, and for the coat. All, all, all the real niggas keep you flow. Keep you flow. All the true niggas. When you listen to these media outlets and they talk about Young Thug, you might think he's the most talented mumble rapper to come out in the last five years. Now, to me, it would be Future. Uh, but I feel like these these outlets don't be praising his future as much as Thug. And, like, that brings up a, a good discussion. Is Young Thug overrated or underrated? Yeah, Young Thug is definitely highly overrated. I get what they mean when they say he has so much range and he can sing and whatever, whatever. But he's kind of hit and miss. Like, Future, Uzi, Travis Scott, in my opinion, they're way more talented than Young Thug. They make way better records. Yeah. Young Thug sounds good sometimes. Other times, he sounds like he's struggling on the beat. He's just like <laughs> making fucking sounds. <laughs> so then, then sometimes it sounds fire, but sometimes that shit is not the one. And he releases so much music, which he slowed down on recently. I don't know why he slowed down recently, but I don't believe I don't see the talent, the extra talent that everyone makes him out to. Have. Yeah, right. Yeah, like when he first came out the gate in 2014, with, uh, was it Donald Glover? Yeah, it was Donald had, Glover. Um, yeah. And uh, two bitches. I was like, who the fuck is this? He sounds just like Wayne. Yeah. I wasn't the only one. I, you know? Then he did the whole barter thing. He was beefing with little Wayne. Right. And the barter six is. Bus up. A bar- okay. Allegedly, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Allegedly. And it's like the bar. Looking back at the Barter Six, it came out in 2015. We're in 2018. The Barter Six is pretty good. It had Check, Duke, you know, a lot of good records. And I'm like, okay, the potential's here. And then after Barter Six, he dropped Slime Season. I, to me, this is this is Young Thug's best best project to date. I feel he like. had I a couple know. of joints on it. He had uh. He had Wayne on the intro. Like people forget Wayne on the intro. He had Best Friend. He had power up. Oh my god! He what other joint did he have? He had a, he had a joint with PD Longway. Slime season is just real good. I don't know what their mindset was was in like Leor and Three Hundred to never put that out, and he just kept dropping another slime scene. Uh, he dropped slime season. Yeah, two. he drops drops slime season two. That wasn't really it. I had a couple of joints again, but that wasn't really it. Slime season three, and that was better. He had um, dripping and like digits. Yeah. Worded. With them was a pretty good song. Yeah. And then it's just like, I don't know, like the again, like the media just likes to big them up, and I'm just like, I don't see it. And I feel like, I, you know what? So it just hit me right now, like while we're having this conversation, out of all the mumble rappers Jayco could have picked, he picked Young Thug. Like. Is is he is he with like the like the illusion too that Young Thug like yo, Young Thug's really the one of these mumble rappers like I need to take on tour because he's the most talented one, or did J Cole just pick him out just randomly? He might he might be of the opinion that he's the most talented one because he does show the most range out of most of these rum- mumble rappers because Future does kind of stay in the same pocket. Trav does have the auto tune that he uses every song and he performs with the fucking auto tune in the mic. I mean Uzi. Uzi right there, but Uzi don't really have range like that either. Uzi kind of makes the same joint. Kind of in a way. But Thug be mixing it up, but when he mixes it up, some of it be, be just straight garbage. <laughs> and his music doesn't doesn't reach the masses like that. He can't sell over 30k with a mixtape. He has a million mixtapes. He can't sell over 30k. You gotta drop five mixtapes to sell 100,000. Yeah, No matter how much they push him. In a month. In a year, I mean. Yeah. That was crazy. He was going on. He's been going around with. He used to go around with Lior in his fucking interviews. He had the whole backing of the label. Had everything. Could not go get mainstream though. I don't know. Yeah, or it's like, Most mainstream he was was when he was at Rich Gang with um. With Rich Homie. Um, with Rich Homie in him. Yeah, with the lifestyle joint. And the yeah. joint with Ti. Like he ain't going way more mainstream than that. Yeah, had a couple like, of joints with Drake that was fire but it's like Lior saw something like I, maybe Lior, Lior saw like a golden goose but like no I don't they seen you just like an artist like Young Thug you just put his album up there he does like 
uh, one of those songs picks up. He does the streaming for it. He moves them out. Like, Young Thug is not no... Ah, man. It's so crazy. He's not, he's not like no J. Cole, no Kendrick, no for sure thing, you know? Okay, he's not a fucking... No, <laughs> but... He was a, nigga was he's a little... Go- that level of talent, no. I feel like I feel like that's what Lior was. I mean, Lior. How many times have you seen Lior do interviews with an artist? I feel like that's Young what Thug he, was the only one. Because he probably saw like, yo, Young Thug is after the mumble rappers, and it's just like, whoa. He kept hyping up this project, High Tunes. It's like, never came out. Never came. He still says to this day that's gonna be his debut. Yeah. Um, he he released Jeffrey. Oh my God. He Jeffrey. He changed I like Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey was actually a pretty good album. I yeah, was Jeffrey was one. good. Jeff- Had yeah. to pick up the phone. Uh, Harambe. Wyclef, Mayweather. Yeah, Wyclef. <sighs> it was just... Guap. was pretty good. I, I think Jeffrey might be his best shit. Beautiful. Talk, talker girls. That, that was trash. trash. That was <laughs> she trash, was so trash. Man. <laughs> she was so trash. He had relationships on it, though, so... But that and shit he, was overall fucking trash. He did the and his last with shit with, with yeah, super slimy, which had a couple of tracks again, but it has good tracks. But the bad tracks are just so bad. You just like it's like how long are you gonna live off potential, my guy? One day potential got to meet expectation, and he ain't meeting it. We don't hate Young Thug. I fuck with Young Thug. It's just like, yo, let's come to the realization Young Thug's not like the end all be all of all these mumble rappers. He can have you can have heavy influence in the rap game. That doesn't mean you're you're the best doing it. Like, ah, oh, man. Yo, Young Thug should have been with little Uzius right now. That's the sad truth. I'm in the hood with niggas on bottom. Started five hundred my car to get shot. Shot it gon' fall.